Hello, welcome. My name is Christian Struck. I'm Senior Product Manager for the Audio Production um, Department of, of Lavo. And we are here at the MC Square 56. We are showing a brand new software, the release 5.0. Um, one of the big enhancements, the big new features, is the AutoMix functionality. Um, AutoMix is an algorithm that can control multiple microphones, mono microphones, in a talk show or panel discussion situation, where you never know who's going to talk next and you want to you don't want to miss a fader race, so it's, there's the Automix application perfect for because you just throw all the microphones in and let the system decide who's, who's going to talk next. The system can run up to eight Automix groups, um, selectable from the central screen uh, in the left upper corner, Automix 1 to 8, and then every Automix group can, can run an unlimited number of channels. To bring new channels in an Automix group is fairly, si fairly simple. You just select an Automix group, choose a channel, which one ever, and press Add Access. Then this channel is in the Automix group. If you want to do multiple channels, select a couple of channels, for example, with a couple function, and again, press Add Access. And there you go, you've got multiple channels in your Automix group. If you want to take them out, same thing, select the channels and press Remove Selected, and they're gone. Every Automix group can be given a dedicated name, can have an individual color that is represented in the channel display to better distinguish between different Automix groups. Then there are a couple of parameters um, which apply per Automix group. So we got the attack time, release time. Um, and on top of this, there's one individual parameter which can be applied to every individual channel within the Automix group, which is called the weight, the weighting factor. Um, and you adjust the weighting factor with a little fader, the little slider here. The weighting factor just gives this channel more importance or less importance within the Automix group. Uh, for example, if, if the presenter want to talk over his guests um, or one channel needs to be more present than the others, then you can apply an additional plus of weight uh, via these little faders. You can also apply this uh, value or this parameter to the free control within the fader strip if you want to, if you want to operate it on the, on the free control on the rotary down here. One special application that we uh, have in our Automix, which is also unique, nobody else can does it at the moment, is um, we can integrate stereo and surround channels in the Automix, uh, which gives you extra benefit in terms of uh, new applications. Uh, one, one of them is we, we balance um, a commentator and, um, and an international sound, which can be stereo 5.1. Uh, so whenever the commentator is not talking, there is less crowd on his microphone, and whenever he's talking, he's able, he's able to speak over the international sound. It's kind of a bi-directional ducking, but a very a good sonic results and, and acoustical results out of it. Yeah, um, this is the central GUI page. There is also representation of the Automix on the channel display. As you know from the previous release, we can uh, do various functionalities right away in the strip on the touchscreen. For example, we can make bus assignments. So if you want to route that channel to a subgroup, you can right away click on it. Now it's routed to subgroup three and four. If you want to feed that channel to an auxiliary, you can do it right here, stereo aux or mono aux. Um, you could change the pickup point for the metering, uh, peak pickup point from pre-fader to after-fader if you want. These things, so the, the next logical step for me was when the Automix is integrated, we want to operate and, and make the assignment to the Automix group in the channel display as well. So what you do is you click on Automix and just select to which Automix you want to route that channel to. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.